Hi, guys. We're accompanied by Shay today. I feel like a... Why did I sound so weird and formal when I said that? I don't know. You are getting weird and accompanied. formal. Accompanied. <laughs> accompanied. It's a big word for Even it. our intros Gosh. and outros now that... I looked at your old stuff and you were really cool. Now you're just like a weather presenter. Oh, sorry. That's why I decided I wasn't going to stand still with the camera. Oh, okay. It's going to make you move. I don't know. I guess because we do... YouTube but you even got your weather presenting hand started. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Or do you, is this your next job? You're trying to get seen so you can be a weather presenter? No, apparently you've got to go to university to become a weather girl. You went oh. to uni? For Doesn't like... say for how long you have to go there. <laughs> you went to uni, wasn't it? No. Didn't you go to a door for the uni once? <laughs> I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll stop trying to be funny. <laughs> I'll crawl back in my corner. <laughs> For, For what? So, I don't know. So you don't know? I don't what? know. So I was waiting for your topic. Mm. Oh, I, swallowing wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I don't have a topic. Well, Shay's down here because she'll have a topic, I hope. Sure. I'm, I'm sprung. Yeah. Sprung. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just had a nice two days with Shay, doing some shooting. cool shoots. Yes, it was fun. I had at least a voice this time. Yes. I'm interested to oh, see the good. feedback that we get for, because I've only, in, only edited day one of last time Shay was down and I had no voice. So I've tried a new way of editing. I think I can most likely get it. I want to get it so we do it more. It takes a little bit longer, but... Shay and yourself have all said you much rather me just shoot yep. than narrate and shoot. Yeah. And looking at the pictures from the last shoot, Shay and I, like the last time she was down here, yeah, the pictures we got were awesome. Mm. Whereas it does change as, something for yeah. sure. Yeah. Even subconsciously, even if you, yeah. Yeah, because it's all the cameras in your face, it kind of makes you feel a bit. But the cameras in the face isn't anything. So I think it's more that you're not getting normal feedback from me. That's because it. I'm talking to photographers rather than talking to the model. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas when Probably you a mix. Yeah. To be fair. Mate, my... I'll see how this goes. If people hate it, I won't lose my voice again. <laughs> but I, if, if you did we some could... before before that, even where we shot, and you just did voiceover later on, no, without Beck. Remember. No, and we've been without that. her once or twice, and no, you didn't film film Prague or anything, did you? Yeah, Prague. I filmed it, but I still had a mic on. Yeah, oh, so okay. I was still talking, but you couldn't hear me. You were further up the street. Yeah, that makes sense. Not like getting hit by cars. <laughs> but no, there's the other way I could do it is while I'm doing the setup and things like that, I could be fully mic'd and talking. Once I got to shooting, I just ignore the teaching part of it and then narrate that part that over could, the top. Yeah, that could work. I could see. We'll just play and see I'll wait see and how see what people's feedback is on it if they like the... It the, might be really interesting for people to just see how you're working without yeah. all well, the I extra noise. Better. I think it's actually better for that. And yeah. uh, the other thing is I'm working with what I call high professional models like yourself, Anne, Beck and people like that who've shot for a long time, if it's having that effect on you, what's it doing to models that haven't got that com comfort and experience? Yeah. yeah, true. And I noticed a shoot that I did with, as a new one we put up on yeah. uh, Facebook. YouTube. The, uh, YouTube, sorry. Um, there, was a big, the, there was a big difference in the model's face and I don't think it was, it's not her, I think it was the... The camera, the cameras, and the, me putting more attention into teaching than mm. getting them to model. Yeah. Whereas, because I, I edited up three of her shoots to get all her pictures finished for her, I noticed a massive difference. Her first and second shoots were great. The third shoot, and even though she was wearing cool stuff and loved it, there was definitely a difference in her There's face. Something missing. Yeah. Interesting. It's that micro thing. It's something that. You girls don't see, but I see a lot, but I can't say much because if I say much, something, you go, oh, am I not doing it well, which <laughs> takes you down further. So sort of try and find a way going, I can see they're not feeling it. How do I make? Yeah. Well, I see that even in, when I'm shooting jobs, even with big teams. Oh, the bigger team. too many people in the room. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I feel that as a photographer. Yeah. As soon as it's a big team, I just, I don't get worried on shoots, but a big team just gets me all... 
I'm anxious. I yeah, just, so many different opinions so coming many in different from opinions. everywhere. And, yeah. It doesn't allow you to concentrate because there's always some people carrying on, just mucking around, and then other people being too serious or, if anything, trying to show off because they want to get bigger jobs. Yeah. I haven't really been on too many shoots because you prefer not to have a big team, so a lot of shoots that we've had here I haven't really had to. Well, I yeah, it's pr pretty much after... Rosie finished up, I sort of drew my line. Now, this is not mm -hmm. the type of work I want to do because that was where more she liked it to be. But as soon as those teams started getting the art directors and all of that started coming in, it was just, this you is You're just like, pushing a button. It is. It. I was just pushing yeah. buttons and it was like paint by numbers. Yeah. Everybody had a little number to paint. So everyone had their little point of view and their five cents worth. And you listen to them all and go, well, we can't have less light and more light. <laughs> we can't have less contrast and more contrast and we can't have um, less saturation and more saturation. And you're just sitting there. It would be so frustrating. Yeah, I take my hat off to the guys. I know a few of them in Australia. That, you know, they've, they're big name photographers now, but I still take my hat off because I look at some of their early work when they were first getting discovered and they didn't have all the... They weren't working... Well, they might have been working for the big clients, but they seemed to allow their own style in, whereas now you look at their work and just go, it's just the art director style. Yeah. You're just saying, yes, where do you want me to move the light? Yes. Like, they're still skilled, but they're not being booked... For their eye as much as, yeah. Yeah, so if a Mario or a Peter Lindbergh or someone like that walks into a shoot, they're going to have a lot of clout on that shoot. Clout? Could clout. You, could you be in hip and using... Clout's an old word. Is it? Yes. No, I thought it was like an outlet, like a Gen Z word. Clout's not a Gen Z oh, word. I thought it was. My father used to use the word clout. Oh, I thought it was I'll a Gen Z. I'll clout you over years if you don't I thought show. it was a Gen Z word. <laughs> Oh, just, yeah, of course. You just drag everything into your generation. It's not my generation. I'm a millennial. Oh. I'm not getting on this That's argument it. again. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, mm. sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's all right. I lost my flow now. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> where's, your, where's your topic? Um, um, so you've getting got an there. hour to think about. Yeah, I'm getting there. You know, we fly, like you're seeing this, we're already in America dodging bullets, not going on to golf courses. Right. Not hanging around with people at a Cheeto coloured. Cheeto. Cheeto coloured. We don't want to be, uh, what's it called, friendly fire or something. Oh my god, that's so scary. But yes, we'll be in America when you guys listen. What? To yeah. You've been packing today. You, you've gotten really good with your packing. You're keeping your bags like down low. Well, it's a big one today because I'm packing all my lights this time. I'm not just taking. I'm not taking. I'm getting one stand. I'm taking two heads and soft, uh, big octoboxes and everything. What a special! I always take that one little, that one, the really oh, lightweight yes. one that I wouldn't want to put one of those heads on it. I thought you meant a sea stand. I was like, that's. Well, we used to when we travelled in Melbourne. In yeah, Australia, Australia are different. Yeah. That was a pain, though. That was that long bag. Always had to go into oversize. Yeah. But oh, then like it always thing. came out on the belt, and I was sort of like, why did you make me drag it down there? But you put it out on the belt anyway. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to packing. I hate packing. It's hard packing for like, well, I guess this isn't a badge, like too long. Like when I went to Europe last year and I was gone for three months trying to pack and think like, what am I going to want to wear in three months time? It's so hard. Yeah. I hate having to decide my clothes. No, yeah, mine are easy, three or four pairs of jeans. That's because you wear the same thing every day. <laughs> um, socks, yeah. <laughs> How long between us getting to laundry mats or I'll put two extra pairs of socks and jocks in. <laughs> Um, shirts, all right. My favourite shirts. Now try and find some shirts that aren't back. Um, and at least one black shirt for sunny daylight and one shirt that I can get on an Emirates plane without being threatened to jail. What? Remember we got pulled aside in... They asked me to cover up my shirt. Oh, yeah. It was a Natasha shirt. She was wearing bra and... Yeah, that, I forgot that, about that, that. Yeah, remember? Like, yeah. could you please? And I had to put on another shirt. Wasn't, well, didn't someone on the plane, wasn't it one of the flight attendants on the plane say? No, there was one of the flight attendants in the waiting area. Cause we, remember, we got off and had to go into that waiting area. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> that was wild. 
you've taken over. So that Natasha shirt used to be my get through customs free shirt. Because customs would always comment. <laughs> now it's your big ice shoot. My big and, eyes. My um, dumb face. Tessa's shoot. Those two, like when I went to... The test one that everyone always asks if it's Amy Winehouse. No, but still people say... So I've, there was a couple of people who just said who's the model and things yeah. like that. But, yeah, the, when I went to Hawaii, there was two people commented on your big eyes shirt. My big eyes. That's nice of them. It is. I love, that's my favourite shirt. Because I can change your face just by doing this. It's really funny. The, I've watched a couple of videos where I'm moving and watching your face. And all I want to do is watch the shirt. I think so. Maybe I like zoom in just to the shirt and then see what... Morph it, my face. Morph, morph your face into morphings. Yeah, I've got a pack tonight. so I'm not looking forward to that. And then living out of a suitcase for five weeks. When you, do, when you travel, do you, like, unpack your suitcase or do you just live out of a suitcase? I unpack it if I'm staying in a place for more than three days or so. Thank I'll you. I'll unpack everything. I never do. It takes the clothes. No, the clothes stay in the suitcase, but I'll take everything else out so I can easily look through for the clothes. As long as there's, if, as long as there's wardrobes with coat hanging, no, I'll put oh, everything. Yeah, no, it I don't takes get five that minutes and then I don't, it's like being at home. Yeah, it takes five minutes for you because you've got <laughs> very set particular thing going on. See? Jeans, shirts, jocks, socks. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a lot more things going on. So it takes a lot longer for us. Oh, well, I'll buy myself some sexy lingerie <laughs> then to slow myself down. I have it separated though. Like I'll put all the stuff that I would never usually wear and I only wear for shoots on one side. So that's kind of, you know, it's there's organisation. And has little inside. bags inside her bag. Yeah, I used to do those. What, so, uh, the jock, uh, sorry, undies and socks would go in one bag and bras with another bar. Yeah. yeah. Or even I would just put whole outfits together. So it would just be pre. Oh, did you, you know? get a vacuum and suck them so they shrank no. wrap down smaller? No, but I probably should. I'm already overweight every time I take my bag anyway. So. What's overweight for you? I get 23 kilos generally, oh, yes, and then once I get to America, I only get 20. So then I've got to carry extra shit on the. Why is it less there? Because it goes by the other. It's not kilos, oh, it's pounds. and it's 50 oh. pounds that you get, which is oh. about 18.5 kilos. Who do you kilo. fly with? American or United? Um, oh, I or don't really have a particular. Cheapest. Yeah, yeah. Either American Airlines or Delta or if I want to, they're really expensive, then I'll go on Spirit, but with premium economy. When I went on Hawaiian Airlines, we went, we say Qantas completely effed up, and the next day I had to go on Hawaii, they wanted to wear my hand luggage. I said, I mean, business class. <laughs> and I only packed one bag. So I had my laptop and a, and a bit of camera gear in there. Mm. And she goes, oh, you're over. And I said, there's another bag in there. I'll just take the other bag out. And she goes, oh, okay. <laughs> but then in, when I got to the, the area before you board, I was seeing some of the people with suitcases like this. There's no way known they would have been under. Mm. I think she had a limit of like 12 kilo. I wonder if this is like, because the air, like. I think it's a pick on me. <laughs> Because Air France wanted to weigh it as well, so I don't know. Maybe but they were weighing everybody. Yeah, anything that was a wheelie bag. No, but also Air France actually had an area and a pull side area, so it yeah. was something. I mean, we used to have a trick. Remember my trick mm -hmm. when you were a smoker? Yes. So when we were checking in, <coughs> we'd put the big bags in and throw all our hand legs on the trolley, and I would say, it's all right if she goes out for a cigarette because she's dying for a last cigarette, and say, yeah, fine, she she'd take the trolley out with all her hand luggage, so they never got to weigh it. Yeah. That worked a treat. I used to just say, this is my friend's bag. My Wait. friend's gone to the toilet or something. I'm, this isn't actually my bag that I've oh, got yeah. here. Oh, yeah, it's a good trick. I have to yeah. remember that. <laughs> or you get a duty-free bag and you put a bunch of your shit in the duty-free bag because that's not included in your weight. But how do you get a free duty-free bag? Or do you keep one from the I previous I just walk flight? up and I say, hey, can I get a bag? Oh. <laughs> and they give me one, then I put all the most heavy shit in there. <laughs> Because that's, that's not included in the thing, yeah. No, it's not, not the zip-up ones, just the regular oh, convenience like store bag. inside. Yeah. Anything well, you buy at the airport's not included in your luggage limit. Unless you domestic. No. It's still not. Yeah. Hmm, there you go. Little, yeah. little hack for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a hack. They'll start charging yeah. me for those now. <laughs> I should have had dodgy advice. <laughs> well, I heard a hack about vaping on planes. I would never do that. No, but... The particular person I've been listening to 
on Joe Rogan, you can look up and try and find out who she is and then you can yell at her then, um, said that she got caught vaping in the toilet. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, the yeah. sensors went off. Oh. So now she only vapes in her, in her seat and just pulls a blanket over her head. <laughs> yeah. And she says if you hold the vape in longer, less comes out. Yeah, I know. And you actually get a big, better nicotine hit so you yeah. don't vape as much. Yeah. I do. I know that. I know if you hold it in, it doesn't, like, not much comes out. Flight attendant told me to store it under your shirt. Yeah, yeah, that, that's basic. Yeah. <laughs> I went Frank Moll, mate, because he was a heavy, heavy smoker, and whenever he flew, he, was a vape, he went to vaping, and he said he just had a big jacket, and he just pulled it out. Yeah. He was using one of those robot things. And then someone's looking around for the oh, strawberry swells. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I'm sitting there on a plane going, oh, <laughs> strawberry, someone's vaping. <laughs> I was at an event on Saturday, and I went out, the front because to have a vape and I asked the nice door lady I was like do I come out here to like smoke it she's like oh it's a vape let's do it inside she's like there's a smoking area out the back I was like oh. I thought when staff is telling you to just do it inside well normally you just do it inside <laughs> yeah I don't know I didn't want to I think that was after the rude security guard incident so I didn't want to get in trouble rude security he was guard. so rude don't speak to people like that yeah, well, you, know, you can say, excuse me, sorry, you can't take a drink in there. Yeah, you don't have to be like, oi, oi, there's oi, a sign, yeah. can't you read? So rude. Yeah. So rude. I don't want to be a, a Debbie Downer. A Debbie Downer. Yeah. Well, I finally got to shoot with Beck in two months. It's been two months she banned me from... I didn't ban you. Because I was so nasty to her on podcasts, she wouldn't shoot with me. No. I'll keep somebody happy. It was, I don't know, we've just been a bit... Busy and I wasn't. I, I wasn't feeling really inspired. I didn't didn't have any ideas because you're always like, so what are we doing? What lighting? Do you want what ideas? <laughs> well, you well Shane and I did one two days ago, which is going to come out soon. It's it's up to the model to make anything look good. I so you don't have to have it. So <laughs> and what? And you hated it. <laughs> oh, <No>, you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, no. See, if I was going to do it real, so I let you style it. If I was going to do it real, that's all you've got. So you could have parity, but it wasn't styling by the other rest. It was just make this look good. Yeah. Wear that thing so it looks amazing. I, there's a couple of old shoots. I should have showed you some shoots beforehand. Uh, there's one where, you know, the I was nearly going to get you to wear them, the, the long pants, what do you call them? Knickerbo uh, not knickerbockers, what's that? Oh, the long bottoms. What are they long called? Johns? Long, long johns. Long johns, that's it, yeah. Wait, uh, there is a proper long john set with the whole flap on the bum. I should have put you in that. But there was a, a shoot with a girl wearing it and my God, she looked, made it look good. Yeah. I don't know, I just haven't been feeling like inspired. Inspired? Just not, haven't been vibing, but I was vibing. It takes a while to recover from those Europe trips as well. Yeah, that is as well. And I feel like we shot, did we shoot it? Yeah, we shot there. Oh, P.S. Bex Scott, there's uh, Live Fast magazine, we'll put a link. Oh, yes. Oh, can we put a link on there or is it going to be canned? I don't know. I know. It's hard with YouTube now. I'm doing a survey on YouTube <coughs> form right now and they're not going to like my survey <laughs> because they're saying all these things. But you put, we, I put a link in a comment to, no, I put a link in our um, podcast to something on YouTube. And I think that's why we got that warning. So I pulled the link off and they pulled the warning off. But it's a link to something they have on YouTube. Yeah, annoying. But it did have a b boob in it, but it was still, it's on YouTube. Yeah, it was but, a it's most likely, yeah it was, but it's most likely got an age restriction on that video and we don't have an age restriction on the podcast. So you're linking something that's age restricted on something that's not, I don't know. But that doesn't matter if you're not signed in. You can't see it anyway, so what does it matter? I don't know. Take it up with It's me. right up there with friggin' uh, Meta, who with our group, and please, anyone in our group, you, people have to realise you submit a picture. To a Nobody else can see it till we approve it, but Meta can see it. Mm -hmm. And if that picture has nudity in it, they give our group a strike, even yeah. though we haven't approved it for publicly to be viewed. Yeah. So... And it's how bad it is. We haven't even said, yes, show the world this picture, and we get a strike. Mm, yeah. It's really dumb. But so I don't know if we can put a link to Live Fast or not, but yes, that was a um, magazine. Where can we send them? We can also put a link to Live Fast. Instagram? Instagram. We'll yeah. put a link to, 
Live Fast Instagram, which is also a Shea. I was about to say, Shea, Shea was in one a, a couple episodes ago. Yeah. So we'll put a link to that. You can go see us being published models. Published. <laughs> published. Published. Well, you're going to get published a lot more now because finally the world has come round and some of the online magazines are starting to get a decent bit of move to them. Mm. And even though some of them are still printing, they're actually putting more content into their online because they're getting more traction and now they're getting advertising. Yeah. I fell down a rabbit hole the other day because I was... You had a, some magazine you wanted me to look up and to submit to them you had to submit through Caviar and I just like created an account and stuff but then that we ended up deleting the account because that site's It's just a con. Yeah, like seriously feels like a con. Like you upload all these photos and then it's like, oh, we can only show you the last 15, like your latest 15 photos, unless you pay us money and then you can, we'll show oh, people right. more money. And there's a, there was another more money for more photos. There was another one many years ago and they did a feature on my work and they <laughs> have a couple of high-end fashion lifestyle magazines, you know, the Leah Jets, the Yachts and all that stuff. Mm. And they put out for calls for submissions. I didn't realise most of them, you have to pay to put that submission in, even if they don't publish it. Really? And so like $1,000 to submit Whoa. to them because after they'd published mine, about a year later they sort of came, oh, they want to feature me again. And I filled out the form and everything. They came back with an invoice for me to submit. You dodgies. Then I realised they made their money out of submissions, not out of actually yeah. publishing it. Yeah. I ended up reading a Reddit thread of someone who said that they, yeah, they were submitted to some magazine on Caviar and they got <coughs> published, but then they had to like spend money to get a copy of the magazine or something. And people were like, yeah, this is what they do. It's how they make money. And then I don't mind. Um, I don't know. There's a set that's going into a magazine and. They don't give it. I don't mind buying. Yeah, but co- that doesn't worry me buying a copy. But I paying to submit in, it. in the past, of all ways. Paying to submit's ridiculous. <clears throat> Pay to submit's ridiculous here, yeah. and but um, what I call dark beauty magazine. Mm. Ten dollars per picture to submit. Really? What? Yep. <laughs> Per they picture. charge you ten dollars for them to have a look to see if your pictures That's were. Insane. Well, I don't know what happens, but they, they used to be they used to hammer me back in the days of DeviantArt. I'd be getting emails every second week. Oh, have you got some more images or something? Can you do? Mm. But and then they wanted you to pay. Then yeah, to submit per <laughs> image. But oh you God. can see why there's so many people out there who want to get into things like dark beauty because mm. it's a bit of a cult magazine for that. Do you know the magazine? Yeah. I think we have well, a picture. Very, so, yeah, I think. Or two in there at some point. Oh. Yeah. I have to talk, talk about getting published or getting stuff stolen. I have to talk to you about that Richard Prince stuff and see how where we can take it. Yeah. Because it looks oh, like really more and more people that. suing him over that. Yeah. So. Oh, I, well, because there was recently two people who sued him and they ended up winning the thing against him and I managed to find who the lawyer was. was. But they didn't answer when you spin it. Eh? No. no. Maybe when we're in America we could try ringing them. Maybe. Maybe they might just thought we were sk- we might have yeah. gone to the spam folder. Maybe. I don't know. We could try. We yeah, try. Because that's, that's a joke. That he's like gotten away with stealing other people's stuff. When I posted that in my story, I had a lot of replies from other people that it was done to as well. So it seems but like see, it must be like people are suggested from similar followings similar following. for him. You know what I mean? That's so all that it's some like people all love the fact that it happened. Yeah. Like there's some people went there to take a picture of their picture in the gallery that they'd been ripped off for. Yeah. Didn't M. Rada buy her one yeah. of hers? Yeah. Uh, I don't think she bought the one. She bought oh. another one. I think, yeah, in her book, I think, I don't think she could buy the one that was actually used, but they either faked another one or he did another one. Right. Anyway. Anyway. I think that was also she did that to piss. No, oh, yeah. You're drifting out of frame, by the way. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> It's just, we, both Shay and I did want to say that you should have had a shower this morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Drifting away. Drifting away. Drifting away. 
We were going to try and make this cinematic, but Peter couldn't figure out how to do it on the camera. No, I could do it. It's just no. going to, I didn't want to mess our settings up for next time. So I know that we'd forget to change it and then wonder why it was well, like We would that. never do something as silly as that. I'm going to definitely try it. We've all drifted a bit. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, wow. No, no but too much. <laughs> no, but now Shay and my shoulders are in. I was it going to talk about? Was I, going to talk? I don't know. Don't get old. I'm trying not to. You're going to... I was just about to say something. You rudely interrupted <laughs> Did me. Did it rudely interrupt? You got up. Oh. Uh, well, I've got two things to talk about, but I had something important to say and I didn't. You were going to... I, oh, I said... I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know what you were going to say. <coughs> Choke on it. I was going to cough. I'm going to cough. Well, you can talk to Shay for a minute while I try and remember. I'll try and remember. Get her involved. I'm, she actually holds her. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm like. I'm done, I'm done. I don't we, know. we spoke for like eight hours yeah. yesterday, so. <laughs> kind of. Eight Shut hours up. with, with <laughs> cat fur in your throat. Yeah. Yeah. Sat up with Shane, I had a wine Stop. night. Oh yeah, talking. she would have kept you up till. What time did she keep you up till? I think we were no, about we went to bed about midnight, yeah. Oh, That's all right. You got out lucky. I got <laughs> We <laughs> probably didn't help that I was like like this at the end. <laughs> because we, we knew that we, we didn't want to go too crazy because we knew we had to shoot and we had work today. So yeah. we were sensible. We had a nice wine night. Well, I suppose the last time Shay came up, I made a watch fur and then halfway through fur. Yeah, I really annoyed that my entire DVD collection, which I must have yeah. 1,500 DVDs at least. They're all starting to decay. Disintegrate, yeah. What do you mean? That sucks. They're decaying. That was a great they movie, They become though. unplayable. Oh. They slowly, like they look fine, but you put them into the player and it starts to not be able to track and, oh. and it hasn't got dust or anything on and it. And don't they just, sell, oh no, that's videos. The old Disney original videos Yeah, no, the videos are just as bad. They, they're just the as tape, bad? Yeah, tape. So why do people Same pay so much money tapes, for them? all of them. Maybe the covers. Yeah, maybe. I guess, yeah, that's the collection. See, records part, is one of the things that doesn't deter or deteriorates if you play it a lot, but just sitting there, it doesn't deteriorate. But yeah, DVDs, CDs. I did not know that. I don't know about Blu ray. Yeah, but anyway, Shane and I got about halfway through. And it just stopped. It started. And it was a really good movie, so I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, see, I was thinking you weren't vibing it because you were very quiet. Because like, I was attention. enjoying it. Yeah, I, was, I loved that movie <laughs> a lot. But. And, and in the end, thank God for Apple TV, just jump on Apple TV, buy it and bang, watch it. Yeah. So now I still have a copy, but I had to buy it twice. You should be allowed to, if you can prove you bought the original CD, you should be able to buy the thing, you should be able to get the free version of it as a download. Yeah. It's the same with my, you already yeah, bought it. So I have yeah. a record collection, a CD collection. So I've got every Led Zeppelin album and CD but then I had to buy the things online because some of their albums or some of their songs you can't have as free. Mm. What do you mean? Well, there's certain songs you can't get free on, like, Apple and places like that. Mm. In Foghat, I just want to make love to you. I don't actually, but the <laughs> name of the song is that. Um, you, can only ever, you can only find the live version on on anywhere. I so know. I had to force Apple to allow me to use my CD version, which I've... How did you force better. them? What's that? Do you, we mentioned this about 400 podcasts ago and someone told me how to get around it. Yeah. So it'll play your what? own sound library collection through Apple Music. Oh, that's cool. Which is worth... I can't remember how I did it, but it's worth it because it means the songs that I write I can actually put into my Apple Music now. That's cool. So I can listen to my songs on yours. And thank you for the last, what was it? I think it was a four minute video on my iPhone. View. Of me? Yeah, remember, uh, yeah. Oh, the no, that's right. Doing a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because like, no. <laughs> uh, you said iPhone. I was, I was like, I thought say, you oh, meant yeah, like sorry. a selfie thing or something. No, the iPhone one. <laughs> because I'd done, I've done two or three more of them with other models. I find that so much better than using the video so camera. So much easier. Because it's so, and I can move That's it That's why quick. I just use my iPhone on the gimbal thing as well. It's awesome. I don't, I found I didn't even need it on yeah. the, sometimes the gimbal's too smooth. Yeah. 
So and a lot of and more it's and more I'm seeing that. people go off gimbal because it has that gimbal feel and so like yeah. Yeah, true. I like But that and um, being able to grade it and everything like that. And see, I could come right up and get in your face, but it's not like when I come up with a camera, yeah. I actually get my face close to you. So it's a big, so I noticed that you could just keep your look. Yeah. But no, iPhones like, have gotten so good with like the quality of them. Yeah, yeah they do. Well, just as good as they, the other They already camera. showed there's some scenes in movies and there's definitely, I, I've done a few talks. So on our workshops, I show you know, Vogue friggin' pages and things like that were shot by Annie Leibovitz and people like that on iPhones. I need to get my, speaking of iPhone, I can't take selfies on mine because my screen protector's cracked and it's cracked over the camera, so. Well, you were supposed to do this on the weekend. Otherwise, yeah. I would have got taking you there Friday morning. You were talking about this in Paris already. Is, no, this, yeah. a, is this still not being yeah. replaced? No, she no. doesn't. She just, bed is too comfortable. So you should have done it where the M. <laughs> you should have done well, it. Well, when we're in New York, we can zip up to the, we set up near the clothing stores. Oh, we can zip up to the New York. Oh, isn't that all the expensive designer stuff though? Didn't we do this last year? We went up to Apple and then we walked down and it was just like... Really oh, I see, it's still not walking distance to Ralph Lauren. That's still a... Ralph Lauren. No, I want another pair of jeans. When they don't sell the jeans I want in Australia. Oh, right. So, yeah, Australia only gets a certain... Ralph Lauren have different, like, categories. So they've got purple and things like that. We don't have that in Australia. We just oh. get polo. Mm. And I don't, not into polo. Not into Marco. Marco polo. I, no. I need to clean my glasses, they're dirty. But yeah, I, I've, this has been like this for months. It's really bad and so I can't really see how it's like got a crack right over the yeah. camera part of it. The whole, the whole vibe is very <laughs> <crack>. <laughs> Yeah, it's very mean. You just don't do selfies. Well, I can't. Just do the mirror thing. I normally, I think I normally Well, you do put that. your camera in front of your face and take a picture of you. What? Why is that a thing? So the amount of models will get in front of a mirror, put the camera up, take a picture, but the camera's blocking their face. I think it's, it's more of like an outfit not, photo. Yeah, it's more, like, and it's more aesthetic. Well, well they could be stuffed doing their Otherwise, makeup. you just look super vain always taking a picture of your face. <laughs> I think people normally do that if they're wearing it. So it's more people, about, like, look at what, what I'm most wearing. Women do, though? <laughs> I have a lot of change. Like, I do that if I'm in change rooms because most of the time I'm, like, shopping and don't have makeup on and I'm like, you know. Block out my face. Oh. What? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's ugly face days. Yeah. Like, <laughs> They're the best days. No. I haven't gone. We, need to, we hope, hope we can find some cool places to go shopping. This well, that's trip. your job. Oh, well, if anyone has suggestions. Yeah, if you have suggestions, yeah, please suggestions. let us know. We, so don't suggest areas where it's Chanel and all of those because we can't buy them for studio clothes. They're too expensive. And if we do buy it, Beck just steals them and we'll no, never I see don't. them again. But... Boutiques back, with independent labels. Back before COVID, there used to be lots of little independent st stores, which they were definitely not at H&M prices, but they also weren't at Versace prices. Yeah. Mm. So they were at that, oh, it's a bit expensive, but this is so cool. Yeah. It's really hard to Google it because you know, if I just put in, like, boutique shopping areas, like, I just get, yeah, no, well, I don't get what I'm looking for. We did that in London. It took us to this, like, it was really cool there. But I don't know why you don't go to the kilo shops. Which shops? The kilo shops, like the thrift stores, but the curated thrift stores. Oh, where do you find them? Oh, well, I can send, I can send you yeah, a street for right, that so in LA. You, you yeah. need to set her. I, I know a couple of them in LA, yeah. but they're still expensive. You mean paying like 200 Depends. US just for a pair of jeans? I go to the thrift stores in Houston and I find stuff for like 25 cents, oh. like old, oh. old Marlboro jackets and oh, shit like cool. this. Yeah. On 25 cent a day. Yeah, so I want to do a complete overhaul of our... This rack here is super full of shit we never shoot in. Yeah, I know. It should be only stuff that's really cool. Yeah, I think and that's... And the other racks in there are the stuff that we just wait till Shay comes in. She, <laughs> can, she can try and put something together out of that. Yeah, I said that we need to go through the outside rack and put away things that we don't really shoot in. Right. It's getting hard. Like, the... The last couple of cool things we bought. I haven't seen you wear for ages. The little that really cool jacket you got in LA last year. Because I haven't been able to find it. Oh, have you lost it? No, I told you this. I think it's at someone's house. I remember the last time I wore it. I already heard about this. <laughs> and I think it might be oh, at someone's my house. God. See if she doesn't pay for it herself. It's, uh, it's a dollar. No, it's not. I think it's at someone's house. 
Yeah, of course it's at somebody's house. You just don't know which body. Yeah. It could be the homeless person's house. No, it wouldn't have. Because I, I love that jacket. I wouldn't have. So how many, how many friends have you got? I can't believe how many friends I have. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's an in-house joke. I was putting together. I think I'm. I think I know who. I think I know where I might have. Oh, why don't you ring them? I'm oh, sorry, it's not your generation. Why don't you text them? I will. I just keep forgetting to. Oh. What? That one brain cell. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, I'm not going to say that. I'm picking on Beck again. Oh, I apologise. Well, he's still commenting. No, he's not. Yes, he did. He's, he made some comment. So I apologise for picking on Beck and there's something like. No sympathy from me. Or something I can't remember. What? The guy on the bike. Al. Our lover hater. I don't know his name. Anyway. Anyway. We'll just keep it used. You're so sensitive. I'm not as sensitive as model Jean. Or um, Jean, yeah. Who Ooh. hid you from channel? Hid me from channel for trying to add to his story. Okay. Unless it's been hidden from his channel, maybe it's gone to um, no, a moderated can... area on his channel because there's an area that says sensitive material and you've got to click it to even see what it is. And maybe because I linked it to a, vash, a fashion shoot by Vogue that had Carly Kloss's nipple in it. Could be because I can see it on your – I can see it when I'm logged in as you and if I log in as me, I can't see your comment. So I don't know. And so I was just, this was a, a long story short, but I think we talked about it in the last thing that there was a thing about Carly Klosh that had her, the magazine Humor removed her ribs from the picture because they thought, well, mate, she looked too anorexic. Which and is- I just commented that she had this problem like eight years ago with the French government wanted to ban her and other models because they said she was giving out the wrong feel. And she did a shoot for Vogue. It was got the cover in it, like two or three different spreads in it. But they videoed it all and she showed the world how she's not anorexic. Yeah. I think I've seen, shown you the video. She's just posing away and then the next picture is black and white topless. Yeah. And you see a six pack in here, you see all these muscles up the side. Mm. It's impossible to be anorexic and have muscle. Well, some people just have flared ribs also. Like. And some people have flared ribs. Yeah. and. Um, Anne's bottom rib is very, like, mm. her bottom rib sticks out a long way. Quite often I pull it back a bit just because it does look like she's Ethiopian. Or, uh. But the problem with them editing it out was that they, the photographer did it and the magazine did and they didn't like, consult the photographer before they, like, they published it. Isn't that... Like, yeah, no, the, the, the thing was, uh, it wasn't the photographer that did it. Uh, yeah, it was the it, magazine that uh, did it without the photographer's permission. Which yeah, the just, photographer submitted. Yeah, well, and then they re-edited it. It would have been, uh, it would have all been agreed before it was shot. But uh, that's because you're pushing me out of shots. I'm not. You are. You had to just bum nudge. Bum nudge? Bum nudge, bum yes. nudge. You bum nudger. <laughs> oh, my God. That's insane. Bum. We could do the only bum nudging page. Oh my God. <laughs> there was something that came up in my feed somewhere and there was this girl that had made something like $2 million from the OnlyFans page. Oh, bad, ba- bad Barbie made over a million in 24 hours when she released hers. Who's you know that Barbie? Cash Me Outside girl from yeah. Dr Phil? She no. was like 14 on Dr. Phil and she got went viral because she was like this like hood girl and then she was like, cash me outside, how about that? Um, um, Never seen any of this. Oh, yeah, Don't went, even know it. She went viral, but she was only like 15 or something and people were like kind of... We well, can't... 15. But then people... Yeah, but as soon as she turned 18. Yeah, because people, 18, people, people kept being like, I can't wait for her to be 18, I can't wait for her to be... And the, second, and the day she turned 18, she made an OnlyFans and made like a million bucks in one day. Yeah. Did she make or that was a turnover? She made twelve dollars. Only fans made. Oh yeah, only fans takes the twenty percent, don't they? Oh, I don't know. Twenty percent's a lot. Twenty percent they take. But That's I, a lot. I, I and then only people know that f- have managers that manage it, they take fifty percent. But obviously, then the girls don't have to do any work. So. Yeah, they have to do something. They just have to make the content. Yeah. Well, but, that takes a lot of time. Yeah. But entertaining all the idiots and messages one of my takes fr- a lot longer. One of my friends who was doing OnlyFans oh, yes. for a bit, <laughs> the, 
she doesn't do it anymore, but when she was doing it, she had someone that she would pay to reply to her messages because she's like... My old roommates used to have a foot account and I'd get a random message every once in a while wanting a a foot picture because they were managing a whole page of this and they were dirty talking to all the guys, but little did the guys know that it's just... So two random guys smoking weed in their lounge room going, what should I text to this? this there this was one. someone shaving the ends of their legs so they can do foot pitches. <laughs> oh, so it was male foot. <laughs> so is it, that's like when the, the girls would make their boyfriends wear their underwear and then send them at Yeah, someone. I'd come home and they'd be like, can you paint our toenails today, Shay? <laughs> there, was, there was someone on Drag Race whose, like, side hustle to make money was doing that, like, replying to, like, girls would, like, hire him to, like, reply to their only That could be really fun. (laughs) So you would actually do that. You couldn't stand a single comment about you, but I reckon you (laughs) could love when it's somebody else and you're pretending you're them. But I just thought it was funny because, like, these people think that they're messaging this girl, but they're getting this gay guy who does drag (laughs) and who's replying (laughs) to them and they have no idea. I thought it was really funny. Which well, probably... that friend of ours that we know who do, has a, mm-hmm. a, a, what's it called, the cam, cam girl. Mm-hmm. Um, she's 60%. She has to make all the content to everything, but they take 60%. What? That's no, it's, it's pretty standard, like 50, 50, around 50%. Oh, no, like the cam site takes 60. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, yeah just... Chris Jenner only takes 10%. What of her daughters? Yeah. <laughs> that's why she has. Yeah, she, but she'd still give him a bill for everything mm-hmm. else they do in her life. That's why she has. She decides on her favourites is whoever's making her the most money. Oh. You'll get oh. sued for that comment. Watch. Yeah, you're going to. You, <laughs> we're going to. Uh, we'll get a. Let's get pulled. Although she. She a Biden or a Trump voter? I don't know. No, come on, the Kardashians, Biden or Trump? I don't know. You should know. We, I don't. You know that Tay Well, Kanye is definitely Trump. Yeah, and we know Tay Tay is definitely Biden. Oh, sorry, Biden's not in. Come on. Well, because she posted, I don't know. I don't care too much. I don't. You follow all of these people. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I like watching the TV anyway, show because mine was Someone will tell us. So. I'm sure they will. I started a new one yesterday. Oh, yeah, I started a new one about more. It's like Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but they're like Mormons. It's so fascinating. No, no, no. It's so fast. I'm, I'm hooked. They're like fake Mormons, though, because they're talking about being swingers yeah. and drinking. <laughs> oh, so it's just it's not, it's a oh, no. made up show. I feel like, I feel like they've just added the Mormon thing show. as like the sales pitch. It's so, <laughs> now it's like people are being paid to look like Mormons by the Mormons who are going to take the money from it. Is it? Uh, I don't know, but then no they, were, they were, yeah, they were talking about <laughs> swinging and how they were doing soft swinging, and I was like, what the hell? And they were like, oh, yeah, we just make out. And I'm like, oh, it was fascinating. I can't wait to binge watch it. Oh, poor Jared. What? <laughs> I, now I understand why Jared has an office with a soundproof door. It's not soundproof. So he doesn't have to listen to Tay Tay, Drag Race, and now this show. I oh, sometimes, I put my, some, I could, I'm cooking, I'll put my AirPods in and and watch most your trash. How can you watch your trash while you're cooking? No wonder he gets burnt food. He doesn't get burnt no food. No wonder your cats are starving to death. What, where are you pulling this from? From everything Jared's telling me. No, he's not. Well, I, what, well, I don't know. Well, did you make him bol- We're going away for five weeks. Did mm. you make him anything? I'll make it tonight. I'll make him bolognese tonight. And pack your bags. Yeah. Bolognese is easy. You just kind of chop the chop the onions and then, and cook, then cook them and then <laughs> and then like okay, once everything's in the pot, you leave it for <laughs> half an hour. Like <laughs> I can see there's going to be cat food put in there and everything. No, that's not. You sure? Yeah, so I'll make it tonight. It needs to cook for like half an hour after everything's Sorry, in the Jared, pot. Sorry, Jared, I've cut you two nice porterhouse steaks. Do you mind? I forget to take them home. Won't. You porous? Yeah. I'm what be, was that word? Promise. <laughs> you porous? So it's my voice. Leave me alone. You porous? You made me hoarse. <laughs> no. Was that to go with your moo moo? A moo moo, yeah. <laughs> moo moo. <laughs> I was trying to get a laugh. <laughs> trying. Trying. Very trying. So, very trying. Sorry, it's uh, that time of day. The roller door time. Yeah. 
What is the time? What is the time? I forgot both the things I was going to bring well, up. Well, that's because that sounds like a you problem. Just oh, no, I remembered one. What so, was it? Two weeks ago, come in here to do a shoot. As I'm pulling up to my car parks and we have to put witches' hats on our parking spots that we pay for so the gym and the ballet school don't hog all of our parking spots. So and we have six. We have six parking spots. We've given away two. We just want four, one for me, one for Beck, and at least a hair and makeup and a model, and if we don't need any more, they have to park elsewhere. So I pulled up and I see his car in one of the spots. And he, so I, I pulled around and back into my spot. So I have to back between witches' hats. So it's a tight fit to back in. So of course I'm looking at my. I've got cameras in my car, which is really cool above camera and the side cameras. I don't, I don't know how the above camera works. It's pretty cool though, isn't it? It is. But have you seen it? Oh, no. the above camera is awesome. It like makes sense. With, with, they're not witches' hats. They're sort of like these plastic things that come up to Bollards. about this high. Yeah. So when you get them at the right place, they go through to ever. Because it doesn't see the top of it, it just yeah, sees like, the poles. This, this thing pops up on Peter's like iPad thing in the car. I don't know, I'd call it the iPad. The screen. Thing. <laughs> the iPad thing. And it's like got a bird's eye view of the whole way his around the car, car. All the way around. That's pretty cool. It's, I'm like, how? And I can click some things and it'll just show me each camera. There's six cameras around the bumper bars. But how does it see like. I, it's AI. It's I've crazy. got my own personal drone that flies <laughs> over me. I think, I think the first time I said, you said that, when I was like, how does it do this? You're like, oh, I've, it comes with a personal um, drone. I wonder what, I've got to try, no, I can't get a model to lay on my roof. I want to see if someone got on the roof, if it actually showed we'll you, it or if it was just AIing your roof on the car. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, so I've started backing in and of course I'm looking left and right and all of a sudden this door swings open from the car that shouldn't have been parked there straight into the back corner of my car. I reckon when I hit it to when I stopped would have been, um, what are freedom units? Uh, so maybe eight inches. <laughs> in freedom units, eight, about six to eight inches. So by, and all of a sudden it was beep, beep, oh, and I felt it, and my brakes automatically come on because my things got there. And I could see my sensor, there's this car door just sticking out into the back of my car. She isn't even out of the car, but I can see her hand reaching because she's let go of it. Yeah. I get it. She's all apologetic. I said, well, what are you even parked in my parking spot? So there's a sign saying, tow away 24 7. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So, I pulled out, took some photos, changed addresses and shit with her, and she was all apologetic. Pulled into the next bay, came in. She came back in and said, I can't draw, get, get my door shut. I said, well, what do you want me to do about that? <laughs> so she got her husband to come down. He comes in and starts abusing me for ramming her car. <laughs> so the insurance mm. company, I didn't put a claim in because I knew if you, I put a claim in, they instantly go, oh, there's a stroke against your name. She kept on asking me, for. Uh, she said she's put a claim, so well, who are you insured with? I'll contact your company. Insured with the same company. So I got her claim number and sent in a claim against her, against her claim number. And like two weeks went by, nothing. So I ring them up and they go, oh yeah, no, we've decided in her favour. Now, originally, we decided it was 50-50, you both have to cover your own costs. But she complained, so we've decided in her f favour. I said, so because she's complained, you just said, yeah, it's hers. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm com complaining, and if I have to take you to court, I'll take you to court. So we get an email coming back, and it's got a PDF of all the road rules. And they've listed the two road rules I've broken. Which is? Um, not being visually aware and con in control of your vehicle at all times. But how quick does a door open? Like, yeah. like it doesn't mean you didn't see it. it. They yeah. weren't there. I'm going like, to quickly, I'm gonna yeah. I'll find out what they were. because It was very... too really, but then Beck went and found the ones about the doors. Yeah. And both of the things, even if she left Says. the door open in Australia, you are fully at fault if they your door... They say that the ones that Peter broke is drive... Um, 296, driving a vehicle in reverse. One, the driver of a vehicle must not reverse the vehicle unless the driver can do so safely. Two, the driver of the vehicle must not reverse the vehicle further than is reasonable in the circumstances. 
I thought, well, just send them back, play their game, send them back a highlight. And then the second page. one is dri- um, driver to have proper control of a vehicle. One, a driver have... must not drive a vehicle unless a driver has proper control of the vehicle. Two, a driver must not drive a vehicle unless a driver has a clear view. I don't get, how's she, her opening a door got anything to do, to with, do you? with that? <laughs> so, Beck and I went out today and Beck has videoed me how I would pull into my parking spot. So if her door is open, it would be so obvious because we are coming this way. Mm. And then she videoed my camera as I backed in at the speed I normally have to back. You've been in my car. Yeah. Yeah. I can't back into that spot <coughs> fast. Yeah. I'm back in slow and she's video. There is no way known the door was open. And even if it was, if you're the two things that you found about the doors, even if you leave your door open, you're fully responsible for anything that hits it. No, yeah. so we're going to fight them. So it's going to be a fight. Pew, 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 pew. And then we're going to have to fight Qantas. I do like UFC, so. It's got, no, you don't. You're um, whinging about it. No, I don't like the co-main and the main on the weekend. I have to find somewhere I can watch the next fight, though. We'll be in Eatonton. Surely there'll be a sports bar I can go watch it at. All right. No, you find me how I watch Grand Prix this weekend. Okay. I'll try. Because an Aussie won last weekend. Okay. Yay. Hey, well, Australia. Australia, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, even funnier, anyone doesn't follow if one doesn't care, but a previous race, he's overtaken his teammate who was, he was first on the grid, Australian was second on the grid, second corner, he's overtaken his teammate. His teammate gets overtaken by somebody else and that person ended up winning, but he's fighting for a world championship. So out come the team orders from now on, you can't do this. He is first, you have to be second. Mm. Well, he didn't qualify very well. So this is the one who's, Orlando Norris was the one who got overtaken. So this last weekend, Lando Norris couldn't even get a qualifying time in, so he's down nearly last. And Piastri, the Australian, is second. Fine. And so no team orders now. He ended up winning it. It's freaking cool. Pretty cool. And then somebody with some smart People ass. driving in circles. It's zigzags. There's no circles. <laughs> they might start and finish in the same place. <laughs> so, driving in circles. <laughs> imagine paying $300 to sit yeah. there and go... So, well, that's the last time I'm going to see them again. <laughs> you're not going to do that, are you? True. Go, you're not going to go to the Nürburgring <laughs> to watch the cars pass you once. I don't know how you see Eddie. I, I don't get his... <laughs> well, I don't get Huggies, Kissy. You even said he went to kiss him. Oh, yeah, that was, it was such a, the, the, main, the main event for the fight on the week. It was so strange. Like, I think it's just buff guys who are gay wanting oh, an no, excuse like, to like, come out. One of them was, like, grappling the other and he had he him in some way. And then he just started, like, other. kissing him on the back. I was like, that's very... And, like, even, like, Joe Rogan, who was commentator, was like, I've never seen that. Did he just kiss? And, like, the ref was like, wait, cut it out. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> so there were none of this here. Say that other, to the change room. The other, the other guy who like who had been kissed on the back after he gets out of his headlock and smacks him in the face. It's such a weird fight. Never seen that. Even the commentators like I've never seen anyone <laughs> kiss someone. It so was random. Random. It was strange, but it was boring. It was too much grappling. Twenty five minutes of them just hugging on the floor. No, punch each other. I want to see blood. I want to see carnage. I don't want to see you have a little cuddle. Oh, my God. I want knockouts. Yeah, see, I can't. I watch I it and you're all it. that hurt. Yeah. I know what that felt. You've seen you've been punched hard. No, of course not. Oh, is it, someone needs to punch you really hard. No, they don't. And then you're going to go, oh, that hurts like that. No, don't do that anymore. It's best, like, if they, like, I don't know, like, kick, like oh, especially when they do, like, a, a kick and you can, like, hear the whack. You're like, ooh, that must have hurt. They're professional. They do this. They willingly sign up for this. I love it. I love the carnage. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Tay Tay and UFC. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so do you like what UFC? No. Cool. <laughs> I don't like any sport. Any sport at all? No. UFC is the only one I like. I'm not a sport person. So other than sport, then what do you watch? I don't really watch that much TV, I would say. Or what are you interested in other than sport? (laughs) Photography? 
<laughs> Sorry? Photography. Photography. But that's you it. Know, that's your own photography. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look at that. I look at that. You're in fashion. You like Editing. your fashion. <laughs> yeah, no. I like to, yeah. All right, so in your feed, so My what's, feed what's is, your main feed? TikTok, Instagram, what? Um, probably TikTok. Instagram, but it's what is my feed? It's mainly just funny things like memes. I'm a serial meme sender. <laughs> like every day me and my best friend probably exchange, like in our little groups and stuff like that, probably at least 100 memes a day, I would say. So I watch memes. But what do you, <laughs> oh, so I need, I, I think I know what a meme is, but I need to know what a meme is. It's a joke on the internet. Yeah, yeah so it's, it can be just a video or something. Video, happening. picture, yeah. whatever. Oh. Writing even, just writing. So a meme has to be a joke. Yeah. yeah. So like the thing that someone like AI'd uh, Carmel and or whatever her name is. I don't <laughs> care about them. And some Chirito man as lovers and kissing and walking down. That's, a, that'll that's be a, a meme. meme. That's a meme, right. yeah. And the, the Dr. Seuss thing I sent you yeah, as so a meme. That's also a meme. Right, cool. Now I know what a meme is. That's what I do in my <laughs> spare time. Memes, <laughs> serial memes, Benson. Oh my God, what a waste of time. I'm yeah, it's just brain rot, basically. Yeah, because the <laughs> thing, like, it's all right. See, I have some stuff, well, of course, I have stuff come up when I have a bit of a, uh, just a bit of a search. But if it's cool, I'll save it. If it's not cool, I don't even watch it. I send it to like 50 people. <laughs> Do they have a choice in what they're going to get? So there's people no. that send me stuff and go, why are you sending No, and if I get no likes or replies to them, I'm not happy because that shows that you didn't watch them. One of my friends is, sends me so You don't send anything to me, do you? No. no. I can start if you like. No, she's not. <laughs> well, it'll be better than somebody else. There's a few other people that send me stuff and go, I don't even look at it so I know exactly what it's going to be and it's not interesting. <laughs> One of my friends sends me, like, so many a day and so, like, and, like, I feel like I have to, but, like, I don't know. Like at first she was sending me really good stuff and then all of a sudden she started to send me stuff and I'm like, either I don't get it or it's like it was Why just Why didn't you say to her, I didn't find that funny? I don't want to hurt her feelings. So I try and just put a love heart on them. Oh, well, she's going to keep sending. <laughs> I know. Are you telling me that the hearts that I get are not genuine? No, no, no. Oh, telling me? no. I think she's telling you that. No, no, no. So the hearts that you send me are genuine. <laughs> but, but, oh, we put her in a spot now. <laughs> Oh, no. she's going to... I said I try to, but sometimes she just sends me too many and I actually don't think I've opened her messages for, like, a few days now because You're it's be got, canceled. like... Is she in your bride's party? <laughs> it's got she's like... not going to turn up. I know, but no, because I keep putting it off because there's, like... She's going to stand on your dress opened, as you walk down the aisle. I opened <laughs> the messages and there was just so many videos and I was like, I simply do not have time to sit here and watch all of these. And I didn't want to send ungenuine hearts, so... Hang on, but you spend... Two hours a day watching other shit that you don't want to watch. Yeah, but that's her algorithm. Yeah, it's exactly. It's my algorithm. It's oh. curated for me, especially. No, it doesn't work like that because if, as soon as you, if you stop for three seconds because you answered, the, you did something, you come back all of a sudden, the algorithm, I'm not interested in this shit at all, but I happen to stop scrolling there. I know, I looked up ferrets the other day and now my whole feed is just <laughs> ferrets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really changed my yeah, whole... Yeah, something happened the other day. I was, I was looking, I was just flicking through, looking, I was wait, trying to see something come up because something had happened. So I was more looking to see something funny about what had just happened. And Shree said something to me. I've turned around and then I've gone, and all of a sudden it's all shipping container houses. <laughs> Why are you sending me shipping <laughs> container houses? But it's a complete waste of time. If you think about it carefully, if you grabbed all those hours that really didn't satisfy you, most of the time you're looking for something, and if you spent that actually doing something like the cat fluffing your house so Shay can stay and not come out with a mohair jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you follow me? It just I seems like... just yeah. rot sometimes. Like, no, I understand there's places like sitting in a taxi... Sit on the pl there's certain places where yeah, but, if but I look at it it's also me keeping in touch with everyone yeah, in a weird way that's a nice way because I'm awesome. connecting with them doing weird meows yeah but still I go, meow. otherwise they were, otherwise we wouldn't like we wouldn't communicate we communicate through memes basically it's a love language yeah 
a love language. Yeah, I believe it is. So you and Jared do memes at night together. Well, I, I, I will say... I don't want to know, please. <laughs> no, no, she's right. We don't need to know. It's private stuff that should stay in your room. I even see. though, Beck, uh, even though um, Beck, uh, Shay just told me about the size of the bruise on your ass. I have no idea what the hell I've done. <laughs> I have no idea. And it's in such an awkward spot. And I was like... What's an awkward spot? It's like... It's like, she, like, it's like she was trying to climb a fence and she's fallen down. It's like... With it oh. between her... <laughs> It's like kind of what like you UFC, a fisting no, thing. I don't know what it, it's in a very awkward spot. Like I sent a photo to Casey last night, and I was like, I feel like an only fan star trying to take a photo of like where it is. <laughs> so for our thumbnail today is going to be Bex Bruce. No, it can't be. It's a very it's too awkward. We can do Bex Bruce, and we can do Shea scars. <laughs> no, I can't use we my bruise. Are we talking about your scars, or is that too dangerous? <laughs> what? my leg yeah, scars yeah yeah, yeah it's no. fine <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, well, oh my god one brain cells yeah. one brain cells three collectively yeah who says i've got a brain cell yeah. well are you are you ready i did you... i did like the tack on fire first i wasn't that which bad. the, the tack, tack the thumbtack thumb tack. that shay found on the floor that she tried to use to get rid of an ingrown in her and gave herself a scar belt was infected tack yeah. yeah. Anyway, my... you live and learn. Yeah, I don't. I have no do idea. Do you what... actually learn though? Uh, I won't do that again. <laughs> yeah. no, but if you found a needle, you'd use that instead. <laughs> I'm just not using tax. Tax the band. <laughs> I would love to know what I did though. Like that's like that. I can't remember. We were travelling somewhere, and you you put on a pair of shorts or a shirt skirt or something. And you had these two bruises around the back of the top of your legs. Oh no, I know how I did that one. We were, I was at a nightclub on the weekend and they have little booths and I went to sit and it looked like they were kind of padded and I went to sit down in it but it wasn't padded very well and I sat down and the edge of the booth whacked on. I remember, oh. I remember like getting, I mean like. So you did a ah. shree get into a spa. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this thing I've got no freaking clue how, it, and then I didn't know if because like I have a tendency to sit weird and I didn't know if I've like sat weird in my like, but I don't know what I've done. You do bruise easy Mysteries. though. I do, I am like a peach. A peach. But it's just really strange and it was really dark. It's very yeah, dark. Yeah, remember when Shree in Bali slipped into the spa? Yeah, that's true. Like, but I haven't been in a spa. My ass was purple. Oh my God. Like black, per entire. <laughs> I haven't been in a spa. I don't know what I've done. I messaged my friend no, who I saw Friday night and was like, did I, like, stack so it? What, what did I do? <laughs> did I stack it? I hope you didn't drive home that night. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> but I was like, did I stack it or something? And then Saturday night we were out, but I know I didn't stack it. But then Jared went to bed and left me to finish my drink. Oh, so you think Jared been to bed? No, I You're going to do something without Jared. I was finishing what we were watching and finishing my wine and he went to bed and he's like, you were left alone by like for an hour and a half and you had polished God off knows with him. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, I don't know. I can't help you there, but I, you didn't fall over when I was awake. So I don't know what I've done. I would really like to know because it's very weird. You are always very weird. <gasps> We'll wait for Shay to get a refill and then we'll... She get, yeah, so, so you know Beck's drink of choice and you know... Do you want the big ice blocks or the little ones? Oh, this one's good. Right. Thanks. Shay's drink of choice is ice and milk. <laughs> and Kahlua. And Kahlua. Do you make it as strong as I make yours? I think, I think yeah, it's gotten stronger since I've experienced yours. I normally version. do half a glass claw, half a glass milk. Oh, maybe a little bit less than yours. A little bit then. less. Tiny bit. You're at the old thirds, are you? <laughs> One third, two thirds. That's like how I make my dumb bitch juice. What, half, half? Pretty much. Dumb bitch juice. Did I, did I tell you I got, um, they bought out a new flavour of dumb bitch juice? It's black cherry. Cra dumb bitch juice is cracking, by the way. Spiced rum. And they bought out a black cherry one. Have you tried it? Yeah, it's delish. Of course, it's full of sugar. It's delish. I know. Anything sugary you like. No, not anything. I'm not really a sweet tooth. Vapes? I don't. I like nicotine. No, it's actually the, your sweet vapes. I actually heard, thank you, Joe Rogan. Today, there's a friend of his got diagnosed right on the edge of diabetic. So they said, well, if, unless you change your life, you're going to be injecting every single day. So he cut sugar and everything out of his thing. His diabetes only dropped a little bit, 
Mm. And couldn't work it out. And he, for some reason, dropped the vape and he went back to normal. And it's because he wanted to have the watermelon vape or something he's used to use. It's supposed to be full of sugar. And it's supposed, supposed to enter in to be through. Allegedly. I don't know. It's, you know. Who do you believe these days? I don't know. You can't, you know, I just find it impossible. Who do you believe? You see one thing you read. I feel like in Australia, with all these laws, now you're just not even going to know what you get because yeah. they're allowed to import those Chinese cigarettes because they're not classed as cigarettes, for example. Really? You know those fake cigarettes that so they sell? So why aren't they a cigarette? Is it well, they're, they they're like fake nicotine? brands. No, it's got nicotine, but they're like unregistered brands. Like they'll make like that's fake still brands. A cigarette. Up. It's like that's a car. They have to pay the import. So the Chinese They have to pay the import tax, but they're allowed to import sell. tax as a cigarette. I don't know. It should know. be a different tax on different things. So if they're paying the import tax as a cigarette. They've already declared it but was they, a cigarette. But they, they basically they're just like eighteen dollar packets of cigarettes that you've got, or fif, even fifteen sometimes. Yeah, up in Queensland, they're only ten, ten dollar packets. Those ones you got when we were having drinks the other week were a good deal. Yeah, but they're totally fake. <laughs> I, I texted my friend that's from I the UK and I was like, this, is this a real brand? And he said, no. She bought them. So what's that got to do with I only I smoke in Europe? I didn't buy them. Oh, so you only buy cigarettes in Europe? No, she bought, I maybe had one, maybe I had two. But she bought them. I said they were a good deal, all right? I wasn't admitting to. Have you told me I have mom? a drink I can't go yeah, without Yeah, I had it, a so. cigarette with mum the other night. No, I'm talking about the fake oh, cigarettes. The fake I'm not talking about what you and your mum get. They did burn the shit out of my throat. I smoked like two packets when I went out that weekend and then my throat was destroyed. So there's obviously something not good enough. I don't think I've seen you enough. actually smoke. You've seen me in plenty of photo shoots. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think, I think I've we, I think yeah. every second photo shoot yeah, I used to be like, can I be smoking A model smoking in a photo shoot doesn't mean they're smoking. Yeah. Used I used to, be, to always go out the front here. It used to here. be cool. Now if you put a cigarette in this photo shoot, I always, every model that says I want a cool smoking shot, I go, Get ready for the kickback. Yeah. Once you put it on social media, you're going to be attacked. That's all right. I'm already a gun violence supporter with my <laughs> That's tattoo, right. so we may as well add cigarettes. Why don't you just put a big it? red line through it and then you can be an anti gun? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to be worse, especially if you go to America. You're an anti gun person. Who knows? They'll find something to complain about. Always Everyone always there. does. Why don't you put a fetus below the gun? Oh, my God. Then you'd be anti abortion but pro gun. Seems very fitting for Texas, to be fair. Oh. <laughs> well, that's what Texas is, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. People shouldn't judge by that. Like, this, I, they're symbols, and I like the symbols. You know some of my symbols. There's certain symbols to me that mean certain things. And it's not like I'm saying I'm pro it or I'm against it. It's a symbol that's strong to me. Like, I find a crucifix or a strong uh, cross a very, very strong negative symbol, not a positive. It's mm -hmm. not like I'm anti-religion, but I just find there's a lot of bad things that happen because of religion. Because of religion, yeah. And you can't, uh, I can, all right, there's some good things for religion, giving people hope and all the things like that, but I see so many really bad things done in the name of religion. Mm. And so I normally use a cross as a little bit of a, a a bad symbol, not a good symbol, like in my artwork, wherever there's a cross, it's actually more, that's the bad people. Because I, I think heaven and hell, they're both in the same boat. Yeah. Right? Makes sense. It's the yin and yang of there. They both do bad things. They both do good things. You know, hell's got drinking, alcohol. It's got <laughs> Hell is I'm also joking. this up light that is burning my eyes at the moment. Oh, you look so attractive. We I should know. do our finished picture closer. Is this going to make uplight. us beautiful? No, it's making us yes, look it's horrible. It's going to make you really beautiful. It's horrible. No, it's really nice up No, it's it is. horrible. Horror movie lighting. Horror movie lighting. No, it's not quite Blair Witch yet. It's horrible, no. Well, can we get some water and squirt it up your nose so it just dribbles? No. No, so what's the photo for today? Didn't you already say my. <laughs> we can't use my bruise. Oh, it's too compromising. I'm not putting your ass <laughs> as hell. We must have, we, no, well, so, we're not using this. I don't know. We'll, we'll what? Oh, I don't, can we, we don't have to say what it is on here. We can think about it later. I thought we had a meeting about this. No. 
oh, so I'm going to get attacked now because I'm making things up and making you look bad. I just, I hate the pressure and it feels like it just gets boring and drags it out where we try to think of what the photo is going to be. So I just end up putting up another picture of just us three sitting here. Thank you. Why don't we... I don't know, can't you make something in Photoshop of like... Your bruise. No, of, I don't know. I can Google the biggest bruise in the world and put it on your face. <sighs> You've gone quiet. Yeah, because you, I don't know. What about know. the cover of your OnlyFarts page? Sure. Oh, so I mentioned it again. You told me I'm not allowed to Sure, let's it do that. So I can make up a cover. Yeah, whatever. Bum cheeks blowing wind out. Yeah, sure. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right. You had to go at me when I put nuts on your chin. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I'll show you. I need to see this. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. <coughs> um, we'll see you next week from New York. Yes. We will. We will. Anyway, bye, guys. See Bye. Have a good one. <laughs>